Now with the while loop, we have to be very careful about ensuring that we create something called a sentinel. A sentinel value is something that we use to determine when a loop should stop executing. I've called it sentinel. This is not a name that you must use. This is simply a variable name that I've decided to use called sentinel. And it's an integer type and I have initialized it to zero. Now what a while loop does is it simply checks the condition at the beginning of the loop. So it says while the sentinel is less than 10, I want you to write out the value of the sentinel and then I want you to increment the sentinel by one value. I should have mentioned this earlier in the for loop, but that plus plus simply means to add one to. So sentinel plus plus means take the value of sentinel, in this case zero. Each time this executes, it will add one to the current sentinel value. It is exactly the same as saying sentinel equals sentinel plus one. All right, so that's what the plus plus means. And if you're wondering, does that work with minus minus? Yes, it does. Minus minus works equally well. So let's compare this really quickly to our for loop where we had an initialization. Here we have an initialization. In the for loop, we had a comparing condition. In here, the while loop, we have a comparing condition. We had an increment portion. And in the while loop, we have an increment portion. Now this will do exactly the same as the for loop. Control F5, 0 through 9. So again, it's the same as the for loop, just written in a different form. It's important to remember to put some kind of a sentinel changing value in here in your code. Otherwise, you will create that infinite loop. So what's the difference between a while loop and a do while loop? We mentioned that a little bit earlier. We said that a do while loop and a while loop have one small difference between the two. Let's comment out the while loop so it doesn't execute. Let's uncomment our do while loop. And we'll see what's going to take place. So here, we're going to say that int sentinel equals zero. Same thing we did up here. We are initializing our sentinel value. The do loop starts with the keyword do, uses the curly braces as well. And it says, execute these statements of code. And then it checks the condition at the end of the loop. Now, should that really make a difference? Well, let's go ahead and execute this and see what happens. And we can see that well, it looks exactly like the for loop and it looks exactly like the while loop. That output doesn't look any different at all. We count it from zero through to nine. So what is that subtle difference? Well, here's that subtle difference. What if I initialize my sentinel value to 10? We know that we're going to evaluate that down here to say as long as it's less than 10, we'll execute the code in here. So what do you think is going to happen now? I've initialized this to 10, which means that this will fail. This will prove false. If I execute the code, I've output 10, but why did I do that? Why did 10 get output? Why did I actually do something that the do loop said I shouldn't do? And that's the key differentiator is that the do loop says, do this first, then check the condition. All right, so that's why once I set my condition to 10, it still executed these statements because it hasn't checked that value yet. It'll check it at the end. That's the key difference between the two.